Hello everybody! Uh, today I've got like just like a super short haul video. Um, I'm doing it at my computer desk today. Sorry if it's a little dirty. Um, but I also got this really... I have, th I have this cute owl placemat that I keep on my desk. So I just... Uh, oh man, I'm doing really bad today with my... You know, I really should write scripts and you know this would probably go a lot better. <laughs> anyway, I went to Hobby Lobby the one that they built in town here for the first time since it opened. Um, I had been to a Hobby Lobby once when I lived in South Carolina in Anderson, um, near Oconee, Anderson County, whatever, Seneca. And, um, but I had never been to the one here in Asheville um, since it opened, and oh my goodness, it is huge! It's just, it's ginormous. Anyway, um, they have a lot of cool stuff. It was kind of overwhelming, actually, the amount of cool stuff they had. Um, they even had like little mini doll tiaras that I, they're in the wedding aisle, they're actually like napkin rings, but be perfect for dolls. Um, I didn't buy any, but, um, didn't spend too much. I just spent, you know, about 15 bucks. Got a hobby lobby bag here. I got a lot of neat stuff. Um, some of it was like 50% off, which was great. Um... I got a thimble because, um, for some reason my thimbles all went missing, um, when I moved. Actually, a lot of my stuff went missing when I moved. Um, <laughs> but, um, I was, I've been doing a lot of stitching, um, soldered gold and silver plated jump rings into doll dresses for corset lacings and it's really hard to do sometimes when the fabric's really thick and I don't have a thimble, so I was like, yeah, I better pick up a thimble. So I got a new thimble. This is a quilter's thumb. I'm gonna open it up because I have not checked it yet. And it's oh, it's nice and hard. Oh, it's got that nice little notch. It's got a nice little notch right in there. Fits right over the thumb. This should be really, this should be really helpful. It's better than using the cap to my fray check, or like a bottle cap. <laughs> I've been using like a bottle cap as a thimble. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but um, anyway, so I have a nice thimble. I might put a little hot glue in there so it sticks to me. So it keeps my thumb in there a little better. Because, you know, you can sway other things besides BJDs. Ho 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 ho. Anyway. Um, I got some beady type things. Um, this, uh, I got it, said $2.99. I didn't realize, um, when I got up to the counter, it was actually 50% off, all the jewelry stuff. So, like, all of the beading notions, all the jewelry stuff was, like, 50% off. So I was like, whoa. Um, but I always, I thought this was really neat. It's kind of like... I think it's meant you're supposed to make, you're supposed to buy two, and you're supposed to make a pair of earrings. But I thought, like, with this curve here, if I could just, like, you know, bend that out a little, and, like, you know, put some chain on it, whatever, it could be, like, a neat, really fancy doll necklace, or something. I don't know, I just thought it was really cool. And they had a lot of neat miniature stuff there. Um, so I would recommend going. <laughs> um, and also for doll necklaces, I got this, which, this I almost didn't bring up, because it was, you know, like... $5.99, I'm like, ooh, that's a little pricey, but, and I was like, nah, they're so pretty, I'll just go for it and make doll necklaces, um, but luckily, you know, when I checked out, um, it was 50% off, so, yay, it's like this neat little rhinestone-y wing pattern with, like, a little dangly gem, and it's really nicely made, so I figured, you know, I just add a little chain or maybe something else, you know, make little pretty doll necklaces. Um, and the next thing I got, or the last thing I got, which was really neat, I didn't know they had these. It's a plastic doll armature. And I didn't know they had these, and this was only about five bucks. And I was, like, super excited when I saw this, because I have been looking for, like, plastic uh, ball-jointed armatures for, like, ever. Oh my god. Just even, like, I mean, even if you're not going to use this for a doll, I mean, you could you make a phone holder out of it, you could do anything with it. Um, the reason why I got it is I'm planning on making a uh, hybrid swan head doll. Um, and I've been thinking a while on what the heck I was going to do to support its neck inside, because it's just like this hollow rubber swan head. And I'm like, ugh, I guess I could use wire, but I'm like always so worried about wire, you know, you, you bend it a while and it breaks, and I thought about pipe cleaners, but, um, yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Hopefully I can, like, you know, pop off a section of this, because I don't need all of this, obviously. Um, 
I'll probably actually pop a section off these because I don't need all that length. And I figured, um, since I have it and I have a bunch of faux fur, I could use the rest of the armature to try and make like a little furry animal art doll. Because I've got um, both polymer clay and I also have um, model magic. And now I'll have this big, <laughs> big chunk of armature left, so... <laughs> Um, yeah, hopefully that'll work out for the swan head and then I'll have this whole armature left over for other things. But yeah, that was only like five bucks. I think it was actually five ninety nine, but, so yeah, it was, okay, so it was six, but still, that's pretty awesome. Like, I've been trying to find, and it's really nice and stiff too, like it's not flimsy, it feels really nice. Actually, I'm going to open it up right now and see if I can pop off a section just because, yeah, this is... This is really nice. That's and it's got a really good range of motion here. Like you can really, this is going to be great and very useful. So, anyway, that's what I got at Hobby Lobby today. And uh, this is going to be kind of a short video. We're only at about six minutes. So, but that's all I got. I didn't like you know break the bank or anything. Um, all of this only came up to about fourteen bucks, under fifteen bucks. So, um, thanks for watching. Um, if you really like me, give me uh, give this video a like if you liked it. Um, give me a subscribe if you want to make sure that you get notifications. Make sure you hit the bell if you want to be notified for my new videos. And thanks for watching.